I'm Helen. Welcome to my fourth YouTube video. Today we're going to use the binomial expansion to estimate the value of a decimal which has been raised to a relatively high power. So on the piece of paper is the question that we're going to be doing together. We're going to be expanding that bracket to estimate that. Okay, so in, within the question it talks about expanding the bracket in ascending powers of x. Let me just clarify that. So the binomial expansion is that and we can see the a term starts with the high power of n and descends and the b term starts from 1 to 2 and it ascends. So basically we want to make sure our x term is the b term so it ascends. So we, we have a x term, an x squared term, and an x cubed term and then we stop there. So just to clarify that, let's get going. Okay, so the bracket that we are going to be expanding Okay, so the a term to the power eight, one to the power eight. We don't need to write. We don't need to write that. So that's just one. Eight choose one. One to the power seven is just one. We don't need to write that. B term is that. Okay, next term eight choose. 2, the a term is 1 to the power 6, that's just 1, we don't need to write that, the b term squared. Okay, one more because we're aiming to go up to x cubed, the next, and the a term is 1 to the power 5, which is just 1, we don't need to write that. Be done. Okay, so that's where we're going to stop because it's told us to expand the bracket in ascending powers of x, which we've done, definitely ascending, and we're stopping at the x cubed term. We're certainly including it though as well. Um, right, so let's simplify this. So the first term, 1 is 1. Okay, so 8 choose 1 is 8, multiplied by minus 3, it's minus 24x. Okay, next one, that minus is going to be a minus and a minus, one plus. So 8 choose 2 is 28, check that on your calculator. Minus 3 squared is 9, so we're definitely remembering to square the coefficient in front of the x as well as the x. So the, co the, yeah, the actual coefficient of this term is going to be 28 multiplied by 9, which is 252 x squared. Okay. The next one, we've got 8 choose 3, which is 56. We've got minus 3 cubed, which is minus 27. Got minus there. Um, so 56 multiplied by 27 now, because we've got the minus sign there, is 1,512. Okay, so we've expanded it. So that's the first part of the problem. We've expanded the bracket. And now we need to do the next part of the question. We need to obtain our estimate for 0 0.97 to the power of 8. So we see that the bracket that we've expanded and what we want is both raised to the power 8, that's handy, and the only difference is what's in the bracket. 
So if we say that 1 minus 3x equals 0 0.97, okay, let's find out what this x is. So if we take um, 0 0.97 from both sides, then we get 1 minus 0 0.97, which is 0 0.03. Add 3x to both sides. Okay, divide both sides by 3. And we, get, we find out what x is. So if we substitute 0 0.01 into this bracket, work that out, we will find out that it equals 0 0.97. So as we've expanded that bracket to this, all we have to do is put this value of x into the expansion and we get our estimate. So let's do that. So 1 is 1. 24 multiplied by 0 0.01 is okay, 0 0.24. So let's substitute 0 0.01 into this. When we do that, we discover it is that. When we substitute x equals 0 0.01 into this term, we discover that it is this. Okay, so we can see that as each term goes on, we can see how it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, which gives us a clue as to why we're told to only go up to the x cubed term. You can imagine if we went to the x to the power 4 term, um, that would be really, really tiny. And as we need to give our answer to two decimal places, the next term being so tiny wouldn't have any influence whatsoever on the answer. So we can see now why we're told to go to the x cubed term. So working that out, we find that it equals that. So to two decimal places, it would be 0.1. Two decimal places. Um, we can have a quick check on our calculator what the actual value of 0 0.97 to the power 8 is and when we do that and round it to two decimal places we find out it's the same thing. Um, it is 0 0.78. Um, so that's a good check that we've done the job correctly. We've used the binomial expansion correctly to estimate it. And here's a question for you to have a go at yourself. Feel free to pause the video and have a good go. And when you turn it back on again, I'll present the answer. And here's the answer. Okay, well, very well done if you managed to do that. That was quite an awkward one because of the two. And also you had a higher power there, the power nine. Um, very well done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been helpful to you.